Hi there, my name is Lainey and welcome to Lainey's Life. First, I wanna thank Denise from Dish With D for inviting me to do this collab. I am super excited. I love meatless dinners. Um, so I'm excited to see what everybody has to put together. So anyway, check out everybody's uh, channels down below because there's a ton of people doing this collab. So let's get started. I am making a stuffed stuffed potato with Alfredo sauce. So stick around. The first thing you want to do is get your potato ready. Either bake it or air fry it. And then you're going to get half a pound or whatever amount of um, mushrooms and onions, and you're gonna water saute that. I don't use any oil, you don't need oil, just water saute it until the onions are caramelized. Okay, first preheat your pan, then chop your onions up into small, tiny, bite-sized pieces and then dump it in your pan. And don't look at my messy stove. So you're just gonna saute this until it gets like a golden brown and add a little bit of water um, if you need to. All right, it won't burn. So just add a little water. Okay, now you're gonna saute, I don't know how many, about five or six ounces of mushrooms. A small can if you're using cans. Just saute them until they're soft. Just cover the whole top of the pan with um, whatever greens you want, spinach, kale, collard greens, but I'm using baby spinach right now. Probably just a, a big, good size hand handful, and I'm just gonna wilt wilt for that. There you go. You add in the onion, let it cook for a little bit, and then put it on top of your potato, and then the Alfredo sauce goes on top of all that. So now you just pour the whole mixture on top of uh, a baked potato, or uh, cut up potatoes like a uh, hash brown style. One pound of cauliflower and the four garlic cloves. Ouch, and it's hot. So you do natural release. No, quick release. Okay, after you cook the cauliflower, you're going to put all the cauliflower and the water in the blender, a high, sp high speed blender. Then in here, you're going to add into the blender a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dried basil, and a half a teaspoon of any of your favorite salt substitute. Then you're going to add uh, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast and two tablespoons of rolled oats. Just old-fashioned Quaker oats. You're also going to add um, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened plant milk. Okay, so now your cauliflower and the water you cooked it in is in your blender. You're going to Throw in three quarters of a cup of plant, sweetened plant-based milk. Your spices. The oatmeal and the nutritional yeast. Then you're just going to blend that up for one minute. Okay, and then you're going to stir in 
some red pepper flakes. You can use as much as you want. It says a half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in on the top. Then I'm just going to pour it in a jar and you'll have it for the whole week if it lasts that long. It is really delicious. I hope you give it a try.